party first, yeah. right, though? I have the barbecue. Brontosaurus. Check this out, guys. Absolutely. Huh? All right, it could be best described as a real-life RoboCop. They're calling it Telebot. It would allow officers to remotely control a robot based on their own movements. We think it's cool. Christina Warren is the senior tech analyst at Mashable.com, and she's in studio, and you think it's cool, too. It's very cool. What's cool about it? So they're able to do this using a lot of off-the-shelf parts. I mean, they're not using a lot of expensive equipment. They're using the Oculus Rift, which is a video game um, virtual reality headset that's about $500. And these students are able to build this telepresence robot. So you're saying off-the-shelf is a more... It's so more common. Right, meaning that they're not going to a specialized contractor. They're not going to the military or spending tens of thousands of dollars on one specific okay, part. You see what they're doing here, right? Yeah. Tell us what's, what's being developed there. So what they're basically doing is, is they've got a system in place where there's a camera that's being controlled and, and viewed from someone back um, in another location, and they've got things set up so that if they're making movements with their hands, the robot controls it, and they can see what the robot sees using the camera and using this uh, 3D headset. That, that hasn't been done before? It has, but not on this level where, you know, I think their budget on this is about $20,000. Usually these types of things start in about the $75,000 range. So, really? So the fact they're building this, I mean, it, this could be a very inexpensive way for it's, police departments like a, to get robots. Like on the cheap, right? Totally. The biggest challenge, Christina, is what here? So the biggest challenge is going to be, okay, how well will this actually work in practice? I mean, I think that this would work really well to maybe augment an existing police strategy. So maybe you have an officer and you have this robot that can act as a second pair of eyes, but the challenge is going to be making sure that it can maneuver itself around and actually accomplish what it needs to accomplish. So they're talking about disabled veterans or injured police officers getting the opportunity to go back to work. Right. Um, I see other advantages here. Do you? Absolutely. I mean, you could do all kinds of things with this. I mean, you could do, it could be a great way for people to monitor, you know, certain parking areas or to look over areas and say, hey, this is a problem right now. You could have 24-hour uh, guard command where different people could come in and, and look through the camera system. So long as they're not writing tickets, I think that's a pretty clever idea. Absolutely. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> $20,000 seems to be pennies on the dollar when it comes to technology. But why are they able to do that? essentially on the cheap now. Well, this is what's so incredible. Robotics and uh, virtual reality systems and cameras have become so inexpensive that a lot of these consumer uh, things that we use and you can buy every day are actually becoming good enough quality to use out in the field. Mm. So there's this big, big disruption happening where we can actually take consumer-based technology and use it in professional services. Do you see a danger in this eventually? I mean, if everything is robotic and we're controlling all this, you know, by way of camera or otherwise, you see a danger there? There can definitely be a danger. And I think you have to look at, you know, um, uh, cameras on stoplights and, and the way that that sort of uh, thing has happened where a lot of people get automated traffic tickets. You have to have some sort of actual control and some real person um, you know, backing things up and saying, okay, this is, this is happening the right way. But I think that it really can in increase, you know, how much... Um, surface area uh, police officers could cover disabled mm -hmm. or, or otherwise. I tell you what, hats off to the students developing this uh, in uh, Miami, Florida. Absolutely. Six foot, 75 pound telebot. Christina, thank you. Thank From you Mashable so much. Great to have you on today. All right.